Yo, welcome to New Age of Wrestling. It's time for WrestleMania predictions. Let's go! Alright, I'm gonna start off with LA Knight versus AJ Styles. This match I'm very excited for just because this is like sort of a dream match for me. You got two former TNA guys, two former Impact Wrestling guys, two former TNA World Heavyweight Champion, multiple tag team champions. Uh, actually, LA Knight, I think he only won the tag team title once with Scott Steiner. But still, these two guys were the face uh, of TNA Wrestling, you know. So, I love the feud. It's giving me that Triple H and Randy Orton feud back in WrestleMania 29. So for this match, I feel like AJ Styles is going to get the win. Up next, the six-pack ladder match for the undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions. We got the awesome truth. Austin Aries and Grayson Waller with uh, Tyler Bate, uh, Pete Dunne, Judgment Day, New Day, and DIY. So finally, we're getting a ladder match for WrestleMania. It's been a while since we had one of those. So super excited for this one. Fire, you know, I'm, I'm super excited because it's a tag team ladder match. Uh, for this one, I heard rumors in the dirt sheet that this night, that night at WrestleMania when this match happens, that this is going to be where they are going to split the titles. So a SmackDown team is going to pull the SmackDown title and the Raw team is going to pull the Raw tag team titles. And uh, they're going to split the titles at WrestleMania. If that is the case, I am going to go with Austin Aries and Grayson Waller winning the SmackDown title. And for the Raw, I'm going to go with the Awesome Truth. I feel like those are the good teams that could pull this off of pulling the titles at the same time. If they're going to go with both titles, like, you know, winner takes all and all that, I think that... Um, I feel like awesome, awesome truth. I feel, you know, I feel like Judgment Day is gonna retain. You know what? I'm gonna go with Judgment Day. I feel like they're going to retain. Um, at WrestleMania, if they're gonna, you know, winner takes all kind of thing. If they're gonna go with the split the titles, Awesome Truth and Austin Aries and Grayson Waller for winning this match. Now up next we got Jimmy Uso versus Jay Uso in this match. I feel like I'm I'm, I'm a little disappointed it's not getting the same build up with the Rock and Cody, the tag team match, the Bloodline cuz they're part of the blood well Jimmy's part of the, well they're both part of the Bloodline, but Jimmy Uso is actually the member of the Bloodline. Jay was a former, but he's still related to them. So it's like I don't understand why they're not giving this same the same attention uh that the tag team match and Cody Rhodes and Roman, you know, what they're getting. I feel like they should do the same for this match because this match is a big deal. This is like four years of the making since the whole bloodline started. And obviously they're brothers. So it's like, you know, this is a big deal. We're getting another brother versus brother. 15 years ago, it was Matt versus Jeff Hardy. And then WrestleMania 10 was Owen versus Bret Hart. So this match is going to be really cool and special. I I feel like if we would have gotten The Rock versus Roman Reign, I feel like if with this match, they could have had a number one contender match and whoever wins this match will be added to The Rock and Roman match to make it a triple threat. I feel like that would have been cool to see. But for this one, I feel like Jay, uh, Jay Uso, I don't think he's going to go over. I think they're going to go with Jimmy, Uso, Jimmy Uso with the win just because Matt Hardy won his match and Owen Hart won his match. So I'm going to go with Jimmy on this one. Matt, this match right here, this is going to be a classic. No doubt about it. This is going to be five stars. This is going to be ten stars. This is going to be match of the night. I'm curious if this is going to be WrestleMania night one or two. I feel like this would be a great opening for WrestleMania night one. I'm going to, you know, I feel like this would be a great opening match. Or the Jimmy versus Jay should open up WrestleMania Night 1, if not this one. Uh, regardless, I feel like this is the opening match right here. Um, I'm going to go with Gunther. I feel like Chad Gable should be added to this match. It should have been a triple threat match. But, you know, as much as I want Sami Zayn to get the win, I feel like Gunther 
needs to get this win. And if he's going to drop the title, I feel like Chad Gable should be the one to win it. And I feel like he should win the title the night after WrestleMania or at Backlash. But I'm going to go with Gunther getting the W for this one. Now for this match, I have mixed feelings about it. I am excited for it, but at the same time, I'm not just because I feel like the obvious choice who's going to win this match is Logan Paul. It kind of reminds me of the when Randy Orton was WWE Champion at back at WrestleMania 24 when he faced Triple H and John Cena. And it was pretty obvious who was going to win. And it was Randy Orton. And who ended up winning? Randy Orton. I feel like that's what's going to happen with this match. The only reason why I want Randy Orton to win is because I already know if Logan Paul was going to lose his title, the RKO he probably would have thought, like, if I'm going to lose, I got to go all out. You know, how can we make, like, he obviously, the RKO that he would have to take would have to be something like nobody's going to forget, you know? So I feel like that's the only thing we're missing. I'm pretty sure we're still going to get a crazy RKO moment, but it's either going to be from, you know, KSI is going to take it or Kevin Owens, not Logan Paul, you know? So I feel like Logan Paul is just going to steal a win. Um, but yeah, obviously, cho obvious choice, Logan Paul. I feel like Randy Orton should get the W on this one. Just, you know, um, and uh, going back, it's funny because 10 years ago, Logan Paul or uh, Randy Orton was facing Batista, who was Hollywood at the time, and Daniel Bryan, but Daniel Bryan was in uh, Hollywood. Um, and then 20 years ago, Randy Orton faced The Rock and Mick Foley, and The Rock was Hollywood. So, and he was teaming up with Evolution, Batista, and uh, Ric Flair. Now, 20 years later, he's in the. Um, title picture against Logan Paul who's I guess you could say Hollywood or YouTuber so somebody from mainstream basically so he you know it seems like every 10 years Randy Orton's facing somebody who's mainstream and yeah this is good this is gonna be a fantastic match so Logan Paul is gonna get the W as much as I love Becky and Rhea Ripley but Becky I feel like she does not deserve not deserve this match. I feel like she should not have this match just because of, I feel like there's other people she sh could have faced. I feel like Liv Morgan should be having this opportunity. Uh, another match, I feel like it could have been a triple threat match with Liv Morgan in the title picture. Uh, so I know where they're trying to go for. Rhea Ripley beat Charlotte Flair last year. And now this year is going to probably be Becky. Um, and Becky's contract is apparently coming up. I don't I'm pretty sure she's gonna re-sign and all that, but I love Becky, but I don't think Becky is the right person to take the title away from Rhea Ripley. I think Liv Morgan. So I feel like Rhea Ripley should beat Becky at WrestleMania and either the night after uh, WrestleMania or at Backlash, Rhea Ripley should drop the title to Liv Morgan. Uh, regard, it doesn't even have to be Backlash. It could be a SummerSlam. Rhea Ripley could hold the title for another few months. I just All I'm saying is that she needs to drop the title to Liv Morgan, not Becky. So I'm going to go with Be uh, I'm gonna go with Rhea Ripley ret retaining. I would not be surprised if Becky wins. Now, if she does win, I'm still going to be happy for her, you know, because I love Becky. But I'm just saying that Liv Morgan deserves to beat Rhea Ripley. Now, this is my main event for WrestleMania Night 1, Bayley versus Io Sky. Obviously, Bayley won the Royal Rumble. She should be main event to WrestleMania Night 1. We all know the reason why it's not going to happen. I feel like this match is being outshadowed by every match on the card. Um... You know, Bailey, Bailey deserves this moment, and I feel like she's going to get, or she's gonna win. She's, I feel like, I have mixed feelings because part of me wants to say Eo Sky should win just to continue the whole damage control. If Bailey wins, what happens when, uh, you know, what happens with damage control? Like, are they basically done? You know, this story kind of reminds me something similar to Evolution. You know, except. Triple H is the one that got kicked out of the group, you know, so that's how I, that's how I look at it this way. And so I want to say maybe maybe that's why this match is being outshadowed because Eo Sky is going to retain to continue this whole feud. So 
I don't know. But Bailey could always win the title and then drop the title back to Eel Sky on SmackDown or the next pay per view, you know, and then continue the rivalry by that. Uh, I feel like if once this rivalry is done, it has to end in a Hell in a Cell match. That's all I gotta say. But I'm gonna go with, hmm. I'm going to go with Bailey on this one. So, obviously, I'm excited for this match, but at the same time, not so much just because, well, I'm excited for the buildup. The buildup of this feud is what's making me excited for this match because it's a rematch. I don't mind rematches happening at WrestleMania, but the fact that we got this match not that long ago, you know, it's what's making me be like, eh. But, I mean, they did it right. Uh, Drew McIntyre won the Elimination Chamber. He's going to go on and face that freaking Rollins for the World Heavyweight title. CM Punk is going to be in commentary. And there's a lot of, you know, is Damian going to cash in? Is he going to be added? Is he going to add himself to this match, you know? Is Drew going to finally win his world title in front of a live audience, you know? So there's a lot in stake in this match. And then also Seth Rollins is going to main event WrestleMania Night 1 with The Rock and, you know, Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes, so man, Seth Rollins is gonna have a crazy two nights of WrestleMania. Well deserved for both men to have this spotlight, and I feel like Drew McIntyre is going to get the W on this one that he's going to win the World Heavyweight Title. Now, if Damian Priest is going to cash in, I feel like Seth Rollins should retain his World Title and then drop it to Damian Priest or have Damian Priest added himself to the match and make it a triple threat. Other than that, I don't... Uh, Drew wins. I feel like have Seth Rollins and Drew McIntyre have a rematch on Raw. And then that's where Damian Priest cashes in to make it a triple threat. Or have a one-on-one -on -one match after the, the rematch with Drew and Seth Rollins on Raw. Ooh-wee! The big is... Main event of all time, we got the Bloodline, Roman Reigns and The Rock versus Cody Rhodes and Seth freaking Rollins tag team match. If the team Bloodline wins, uh, the next night, Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes is going to be the Bloodline rules. C team Cody wins, it's just going to be a regular singles match. No interference, no Bloodline, nobody except for... Paul Heyman on the corner of Roman Reigns. The last time The Rock had a match at WrestleMania was WrestleMania 32 uh, when he faced Eric Roman. And after, you know, obviously, when he had his match with John Cena. The last time The Rock had a tag team match at WrestleMania was when he teamed up with Mick Foley to face Evolution. So, this is going to be a crazy match. I can't wait for the outcome of this match. I personally believe that the bloodline is going to go over. This is this is Infinity War right now. This is the Avengers Infinity War. So the bloodline is going to go over. Now here's the end game right here. We're going to get Thanos versus a Captain America. That's what's going to happen at WrestleMania Night 2. And I'm going to go with the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes to get the W and finally finish his story. There's other matches to be announced like uh, Jay Cargill, Miami, and B uh, Bianca Belair to face Damage Control. Also Dominic Mysterio and Sa Santos Escobar to face Dragon Lee and Rey Mysterio. Uh, also the Pride versus, um, I forgot the name of Karrion Cross's team. Uh, so those three matches are apparently are going to be added to the WrestleMania card. So Super excited for that. For the, I'm gonna go with uh, Bobby Lashley's team going over. I'm also gonna go with Dominic and Santos Escobar to go over, and obviously Bianca Belair, Miami, and um, Jay Cargill to go over for their team at WrestleMania. WrestleMania 40 is gonna be the biggest WrestleMania ever. It's gonna change like everything for WWE a new era will start after wrestlemania so appreciate everybody tune in hit that like and subscribe all the links in the bio Doo -doo -doo.